Hello YouTube and welcome to Synthetic Oil Info. In this video I want to talk about one of the current problems that's going on out there in the automotive market uh, and that is a relatively new term called low speed pre-ignition or LSPI as it's been abbreviated. Uh, and if you're familiar with uh, what happens inside of gasoline engines uh, you know that pre-ignition is not a good thing. Uh, basically what happens is the air fuel rate mixture uh, ignites before the spark plug fires and when that happens it throws off the timing of the engine uh, and it creates forces inside of the engine uh, that try to push everything in the wrong direction uh, and that's what causes that knocking sound sometimes or uh, you know the clatter sound that we hear uh, and most new cars now are equipped with sensors in the cylinder block, uh, the bottom part of the engine, uh, that will sense that vibration and try to make corrections to the ignition timing uh, to prevent that on the next cycle uh, of the engine. Uh, the problem with this low speed pre-ignition, it's primarily occurring on turbocharged gas direct injected engines uh, and these are the newest high technology engines that are going into the uh, cars out there um, and in some cases on trucks um, so the automotive manufacturers are using turbocharging and direct injection uh, to take a smaller engine and get more power out of it uh, and when you are not putting a high load on it uh, you can also get a better fuel economy out of them. Uh, but this low speed pre-ignition occurs primarily in these uh, gas direct injected uh, turbocharged engines and it occurs on a very random basis so far. Uh, they have not been able to uh, figure out exactly what's causing it. Uh, there's some research going on down at Southwest Research Institute uh, in Texas which is a very large uh, research Institute for oil testing uh, and automotive testing and uh, Ford and several other of the automotive companies are pouring a lot of money and research into this problem uh, because unlike the uh, occasional pre-ignition that may occur on a regular gasoline engine uh, this low speed pre-ignition primarily occurs under uh, high load conditions uh, so when the turbocharger is producing a lot of boost, so it's pushing a lot of air and fuel into this engine, so when that pre-ignition occurs, it's under the worst possible conditions, and it uh, can very quickly create permanent engine damage. It'll burn a hole in the top of the piston, or it'll break a connecting rod, uh, or uh, break the crankshaft, uh, which is, are obviously catastrophic engine failures. And so what they're really trying to work on now is figure out, okay, what's causing this? Uh, because it's occurring on a rather random basis, uh, and they're not sure exactly whether it's an issue with, you know, the design of the engine or the quality of the fuel, or um, there's even a lot of work going into now to figure out, is the engine lubricating oil uh, causing some of this as well? Because one of the things that happens inside your engine is that there's that, uh, we've talked about this on a couple of the other videos, every time your piston moves up and down while the engine is running and the oil pump is pumping, uh, there's a microscopic film of oil that gets left on the cylinder walls that the uh, oil control ring, which is the bottom ring of your piston, uh, doesn't completely scrape away. Uh, and it if it com it shouldn't completely scrape it away because that's what lubricates that piston uh, to travel up the bore uh, of the cylinder bore on the next uh, rotation. So there's got to be a little uh, little bit of oil left, uh, you know, a very microscopic film, uh, microscopic thick film of oil left on that cylinder wall, uh, so to lubricate the piston as it goes up and down. Well, when the a spark plug fires the next time and ignites that air fuel ratio mixture that's inside the combustion chamber whatever oil is left there up at the top gets burnt uh, so now you have air fuel uh, mixture mixing with that little bit of oil that's left up there on uh, on top of the piston 
uh, and creating a air fuel ratio change basically now we're, we're adding that little bit of oil there so if you're running a lower quality oil or an oil that uh, vaporizes very quickly uh, it can uh, cause that air fuel mixture to ignite prematurely uh, before the spark plug fires so uh, another reason uh, to run a high quality synthetic oil uh, they haven't completely sorted all this out yet but it appears that they're heading in a direction that uh, the next round of changes that they're going to make to the oil standards uh, and if you've watched what has happened in the oil industry in the last few years you notice that we keep having changes come out to the numbers and letters on the back of our uh, oil for our cars. You know, we've got GF5, we've got SN, we've got uh, all these different letters and numbers back there, and those numbers and letters keep changing. And they keep changing because the requirements are changing. And so the oil companies are having to reformulate new oil uh, with higher uh, quality specifications to meet these new lubricating standards for these new engines. And this is yet just another requirement. It appears as though uh, that when GF6, which will be the next uh, iteration of a, a change uh, for gasoline engine oils, comes out in, to, in 2016, uh, one of the new testing requirements is going to be, uh, does this oil uh, have better control over this low speed pre-ignition. Basically the oil cannot vaporize uh, as quickly and cause that premature uh, ignition of the air fuel mixture in the combustion chamber. Uh, it, this whole process uh, and whole problem had a lot of guys scratching their heads for a long time because they couldn't figure out how is the lubricating oil in the engine causing a, a pre-ignition problem. Well if you look at what I just talked about a minute ago about that little bit of oil that's left up there on top of the uh, the combustion chamber uh, from the lubrication of the cylinder wall uh, then you can see how that uh, can lead to it if that oil uh, vaporizes too quickly and allows that air fuel ratio mixture to combust too early uh, so one of the things you can do is run a high quality synthetic oil like AMS oil uh, that is a group 4 PAO based oil uh, and that oil uh, resists uh, that vaporization much better than a conventional oil will. So in addition to lubricating better uh, it is going to uh, resist that pre-ignition problem uh, or help it resist that pre-ignition problem that is occurring on some of these uh, turbocharged gas directed injected engines. Uh, so go to our website if you want to place an order for Amsoil, uh, MinutemanPerformance.com, uh, and look up your vehicle there under the vehicle application guide, and it'll tell you uh, which of our oils uh, are available for your vehicle. And the application guide will usually show you at least three different oils for your vehicle. Um, and if you're running a turbocharged gas-directed injected engine, I highly encourage you to select the first one listed, which is the Signature Series. Uh, it'll usually be the Signature Series oil, which is our very best oil, because it is the one that is formulated with that Group 4 PAO-based oil that is going to resist uh, that pre-ignition problem the very best. Because it only takes one of these pre-ignition or low-speed pre-ignition uh, events to destroy your engine. Uh, and it, it, it's catastrophic. Uh, you'll have to have a new engine put in your car or have those components replaced if it didn't punch a hole in the cylinder block, uh, which it could very easily do. So take the time now, uh, do the best thing you can for your engine, put in the best oil that's available, and you'll get better fuel economy, you'll protect your engine better, and you'll now you'll also have a, an opportunity to uh, resist that low speed pre-ignition. Uh, again, our website, MinutemanPerformance.com. Uh, please visit us on Facebook and like us there. And uh, please subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. 
Post your comments or questions below here on YouTube or send us an email to info, info at .com. Again, that's info at minutemanperformance.com. Again, my name is Tom Brown. This is Synthetic Oil Info. Uh, that's it for now. Hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.